Welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about prepositions of time. Let's get started. Remember that a preposition is usually a short word used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. Have a look at the example over here. If I'm not mistaken, her birthday is in May. Note that the preposition in in the sentence is used to link the noun May to birthday. Her birthday. Now there are many types of prepositions and among them are prepositions of time. Note that these prepositions are used to denote specific time periods. Now we usually use prepositions of time when we answer the question beginning with when. Have a look at the example below. When did you move to New York? I moved there in 2007. Note that the preposition of time in tells us when I moved to New York. Now there are three main prepositions of time. A. At. At denotes precise time. It's in the examples below. I'll pick you up at five. The preposition of place at in the sentence denotes a precise time, five. And in the sentence, we're all going to be sleeping at midnight. Again, the preposition of time at denotes a precise time, which in this sentence is midnight. Note that at is also used with such expressions as at night, at weekend, at Christmas, at the moment, at present, at the same time. Have a look at the example below. Mr. Rufus isn't available at the moment. May I take a message? Note that in the sentence, the preposition of time at is used with the expression the moment, at the moment. B. On. On is used for days and dates. Have a look at the examples below. I'm meeting up with my friends on Saturday. And on Sunday morning, I'm flying to Seattle. In these sentences, the prepositions of time on are used for days. Saturday and Sunday. And in this sentence, Mike has the project presentation on 11th November. The preposition of time on is used for the date 11th November. Same in the sentence. My family does nothing on Christmas Day. Preposition of time on is used for the date Christmas Day. C. In. In denotes longer period of time, like months, years, centuries, etc. Have a look at the examples below. The Parkers are moving to Greece in March. The preposition of time in is used to denote the month, March. And in the sentence, the story is said in the 80s. In is used to denote the century. Life in the Middle Ages wasn't like in a fairy tale. I don't know how people lived in the past. In these sentences, the prepositions of time in are used to denote longer period of time. The Middle Ages and the past. 
Note that in is also used with such phrases as in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Have a look at the example over here. Theo is an owl. He has a hard time getting up in the morning. Also note that we do not use prepositions before last, next, every, or this. Have a look at the sentences below. I guess we'll see Alice on next Monday. Now this sentence would be incorrect because the preposition on is not supposed to be used before next. The correct form would be I guess we'll see Alice next Monday.